Hello everyone, welcome back to Great Online Training and this is Naido, I'm a SaaS trainer and programmer. In this video, I'm going to explain SaaS Certified Specialist Practice Question number 6. I have already covered a few videos earlier, so I'm just attaching in the cards, so please watch it. And if you like, and just click the like button and be subscribed to my channel so that I'm going to bring a lot of upcoming videos mainly for this SaaS certification exam. So, so let's get started. In this question number six, uh, data work dot test is your uh, data set name. Revenue equal to uh, 2010 4.5 millions and revenue in 2011 1.5 million. Revenue in 2012 3.5 million. And if I create this data set, uh, so what happens? So you know the data set will be get created. Okay, the question is we need to run the uh, second step at down data work dot test one set work dot test total equal to I'm creating a new column as a sum of your revenues I'm just giving it here so here if I run this particular program what will be the correct answer so I have given a multiple choice questions here so you can see that it's a 3.5 as a answer a b is 1.5 c is 9.5 d the program fails to execute due to errors so which one is the correct answer we will see guys you also do with me as same take a pause of this video and open your SaaS studio and try to do the same with me so for that first of all what we do is let me just copy the program into my SaaS studio and in your case maybe you just type it all the program what is there here and you paste it here I'm just pasting it by using control V I'm done so first what I'll do is I'll try to create my data set based on this I'm expecting a three column names one is a revenue with 2010 and 11 and 12 three column names you will get it and one row you will get it three columns and one row containing data set will be get created you want to check that you can check it you see that one observations with the three variable containing a data is just ready with us the data is there with us into your libraries go to your work library and there you can see the test data set is just got created with uh, three variables and as well as uh, um, here you can see one observation containing a data just got created perfect there is no doubt in that everything is smooth okay now what I'm interested you know I want to do the sum of all if I want to do the sum of all I can write it all my column names as a data your test one as a new data set I am uh, creating it set work dot test total equal to sum of your revenues actually what is this REV what is that stand for instead of you calling your variable names as a let's say uh, you just calling it as a revenue of your 2010 comma and 2011 comma and and you thought you, if you are doing it at 2012 if you do the sum in a in this way yes you will get the sum if I run the program the sum you will get it somewhere let me just see that what will be the first is there any errors in my program there is no errors according to the uh, program wise there is no errors if I run this in this way so then if I go to my work library and there you can see that a new data set is created as a test one if you just see the test one and one more column you created the total you got it as a 9.5 so you have done in this way of revenue comma 2010 comma 11 comma 12 you have written instead of that you can put it uh, the prefix see you can see all the columns it just prefixed with uh, um, I can say that uh, a revenue here so you just see everything is uh, starting with REV so I started REV with the colon this colon what it will do is whatever the variable name start with REV 
everything will comes under sum so here we have a all the three columns is starting with rev all the three columns you will get it here you will get the same like earlier 9.5 only answer you will get it now also you won't get any syntax errors or anything so the 9.5 answer you will get it but this is the two ways one is you can write the complete variable names again and again or else you can write it rev with colon also you can write it so that no you can bring all the columns uh, in a one uh, one time if you want to call it you can call it in this way let me run it you'll get the same output like earlier so let's see how many observations you will get it here yes earlier also four observations sorry four variables and now also four variables and one observation go there and check your data set in your work library yo uh, maybe you do one thing you just close this data sets uh rerun the program one more time because it's in open condition i think it's done open your work library work library containing a test one data set if you open it and now you can see that the total 9.5 you will get it check that which answer is 9.5 in your data so according to this 9.5 is the c answer so according to this particular execution of this program the correct answer is c that is your 9.5 yes that's the right answer so this is all about for my question number 5 and i just done with this question and that's it for today thank you for watching and be subscribe for more videos uh, in upcoming days